Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today is sort of a specific video and this I will be focusing on the shop weapons. I'll sort of use them, show ideal situations to use them, so on and so forth. But before going into that, I'm going to use words to say, <laughs> which is better. Okay, so if I was to rank these from 1 to 6, Volcano is definitely 6. That is the worst out of these weapons, by far. Then I'd say Tangent is 5, Trolling Star is 4, Skeet 3, Summoner 2, and Traveler is 1. So, basically, first thing I really advise if looking at shock weapons, buy Travelers. It's one of the better weapons in the game, and it's not that hard to get. I mean, I do kind of have a large-ish gear count myself, but, I mean, like, just casually playing the game, that'll get it up, no problem. Anyways, this is going to be a test of a few things. We're going to test the weapons, and also we had that update that apparently made this better, or, or improved the performance. So let's see how much lag we get from this. Uh, no, it's not much better at all. <laughs> okay. First one here I see is Skeet. And this weapon... Uh, I'm gonna change the map up a bit. There we go. I'm gonna go this way and he can go over that way. Whoa, what happened there? Well, basically, the best way to do this is use it from range and aim as if you're going higher. And yeah, it's also kind of random, so sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Olympic Skeet is just the colors change, and I believe there's more shards and they're a lot more focused or concentrated, even. But yeah. I like Skeet, uh, it is a pretty nice weapon, not gonna lie. Anyways, on to the next one. To try and remember what they are. <laughs> uh, let's slowly drudge our way over this way. I'm sort of constantly looking as I go over ones that pass. To make sure I don't miss any, but here we have Tangent. And Tangent, again, can be used sort of a couple of different ways. This is one that I started seeing people use a fair bit. Well, not that bad, really. <laughs> but yeah, you get a bit of damage that way, but... The ideal way would be get the person to oops, wherever you're comfortable with and yeah, that's the most basic one. Just straight up like that and straight down. Nothing too complicated. Um, I'll show you the different tiers as well. The only difference is that there's a bigger blast radius and also more shots are fired off at a tangent. And might as well throw a bit of general knowledge in there. For those who don't know, a tangent is a line that only touches a circle at one point. So all the shots that are fired off from the tangent could be considered straight lines from sort of beforehand that only hit the arc of the shot once. <laughs> oh, I'm making this way more complicated than it is. Anyways, on to the next one that I can find, should I find any more. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there's supposed to be more performance increasing updates. 
I hope they work. I really do. Okay, next one we have is Summoner. And Summoner is best used on um, as flat a ground as possible. Is there anything? There we go. Then I'll get you, sir, over here. Okay, Summoner can be... Oops. Pretty powerful. Ah, uh, where is it? There we go. Summoner is basically you just hit the shot on the target and it'll do exactly what it's doing there. Mage is almost the same except you have the little black dots up here. And there's more of them. So, yeah. Decent enough damage, I must say. Uh, okay. I see a Trolling Star, I see Scavengers. So I'm going to go for Trolling Star first. Eventually. Ah, and there's Volcano. Okay, so we're good. Trolling Star is... I'll just use it up here. Just bounces up and shoots out four shots. The Ninja Star, sorry, Multi Star throws out five. And Ninja Star throws out six. The there's two sort of ideal places to use these. One of them is when the opponent is maybe about here ish. Then use it up against the bumper and yeah. That. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not too ideal, but yeah, the Sort of best way that this weapon is used is with your opponent against a wall. Aim a bit lower and it'll just pop up and boom. That's a nice bit of damage right there. Okay. Travelers, travelers, there's travelers. This is by far my favorite out of the shop weapons. I just really, really like it. Basically, again, it's a shot that is, it's kind of random, where you can get absolutely huge damage or almost none. I'll see if I can get a bit of both. Yeah, see, there we got a 24 and in, hopefully this will prove my point. There you go, that's one of the more decent shots. There, that... And that wasn't even sort of the best I have seen. The Scavengers is pretty much the same except it fires off two piles of arrows. That can, for the most part, do more damage. But then it has the same sort of thing as Travelers where you could end up doing almost no damage. Okay, so lastly we will go to Volcano. Volcano is by far, by, I'm not even joking, it is by far one of the worst weapons most of the time. And I say most of the time because there's the odd instance where the, char or the character, the opponent even, is sort of like this and you can shoot just below them and all the napalm bits will stick to the opponent. Uh, it really isn't that common of an occurrence, so if I were you, I would not hold your breath. But yeah, the level up eruption is really not much better. It does the same damage, but there's a few more napalm bits. And yeah, it is possible to get somewhat decent damage out of it at times and I myself have gotten a few 100s, 150s but not gonna lie they were with X2s and crits and all sorts of things but yeah that's sort of all the shop weapons in a nutshell I highly recommend everyone really Looking at shop weapons, Travelers first, then Summoner. Well, 
Now that I think of it, which, my god, this is slow. Also, Kyle, fix this. I know it's only a small thing, but it really bugs me. Anyways, back to the shop. Yeah, travelers, yes, yeah, definitely. Summoner, yes. Tangent, yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Skeet, definitely, because it can be really good, especially if you get an X2 on the person. Throwing Star is good in certain circumstances, but not good in others. It can be pretty annoying in wind games. The same with Tangent as well, actually. That, yeah, the wind can just be atrocious for both of these. Volcano. The only thing I can say is if you have spare gears, get it. Otherwise, just focus on the other five. Volcano, one of the worst weapons in the game, not even the shop. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it at that for today. I will be doing live streams tomorrow, well, stream tomorrow, potentially on Friday. And then maybe once or twice over the weekend as well. I feel like just going all out with it. <laughs> so guys, feel free to join. Feel free for video requests. Just interaction. Like, I like interacting with you guys. I think it should work both ways. Like, you talk to me, I talk to you. It's a win-win, per se. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you go now and do what? Make your own decision on the shop. This is, for the vast part, my own opinion. But it's also fact as well that Travelers is way better than Volcano. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you're awesome. Until next time, cheerio.